Hello everyone. Today we are going to see hardware programming in 8051 so that we can able to interface and stepper motor to this 8051. So in order to understand about stepper motor, we have already seen how to interface stepper motor with 8086. In the same way, now we are going to program with 8051. So before getting into it, so we just try to understand how your stepper motor is being working. So in this case, if you want to make your stepper motor, so it will be having stator and it will be having rotor inside. So stator and rotor are going to be your poles. So that if it is going to be having a structure like this. So if it is going to be uh, north pole and south pole. After that one, this is going to be north pole and south pole. So in between, you will be having your rotor. So if it is going to be north pole and uh, if it is going to be south pole and after that it is going to be north pole, if that is a case. So how we are going to give pulse to your stator is going to decide your rotation. So if you can able to give pulse like your north pole and south pole is going to be located here and here. So that unlike poles attract each other so that it is getting its south pole here and your north pole is getting attracted here. So it is going to be making rotation so that it is going to make this exact position of here, right? So after that, if you are going to make this as North Pole and this as South Pole, so it is going to make one more rotation. So like this, uh, we can able to stop in between. So if it is going to be North Pole and this is also going to be North Pole, in this case, it is going to be located in between. So if any one is going to get its North Pole, it is going to be attracted to that exact pole we want. So this is overall structure of your um, stepper motor. So uh, in terms of your ESA kit, the stepper motor and its driver is already given to us. So this is your stepper motor which is given to us. So we are having uh, poles, right? So exactly if you want to give it in terms of poles, the signals of poles is going to be given here. And after that power for your supply or for your uh, DC is given here. And this is your driver circuit. So for understanding, I have made an wire which is getting mounted on your stepper motor so that we can able to exactly see whether it is rotating clockwise or it is rotating anti-clockwise. So this is your driver. So in your driver, this pin, uh, which is going to be in terms of poles that has to be connected to ABCD here so that it is having four pins. So this is also having four pins. And this is having three pins. So this three pin has to be connected to this three pin. So this is your power supply given from your adapter. Right? We are having an external adapter. So it will be given to you so that you can able to make use of that adapter to give and supply to this driver. So for this driver, for four poles, we are having different uh, four different transistors which is being attached to your driver. So that if an gate pulse is given, so that specific pole is getting activated. So we don't want to get much deep into the basics of how a stepper motor runs and other things. So we'll just try to understand. So there is a transistor, four transistor. This four transistor, if you are going to give the supply, it is going to activate that specific pole only. Like that, we can able to uh, do that. So this is getting connected with your kit, right? So we have already seen how to connect this one. So this can be directly connected to your kit and it can be uh, doing its operation. So if you are going to get it connected with your kit, you have to make sure that you are going to activate this using your port key. So exactly if you are going to make in terms of port A, so it is going to be port 0, right? Exactly. Sorry, it is not port A, it is port 0. So port 0 we are going to use. So this port is going to give 8 bits. So 8 bits is going to activate this transistors. This transistors is going to pulse to your stepper motor. Right? That is how it is heading uh, program. So my question here. So write an assembly language program to rotate a stepper motor in clockwise direction using port 0. So port 0 is defaultly getting connected. Assume crystal clock frequency STAL is going to be 11.0592 megahertz. It is default for all programs, right? So what are the informations given? You have to access your port 0, <coughs> right? In order to make your stepper motor to run. And after that, rotation should be in clockwise direction. This has been specified. 
so there is no specification that we have to use timer right so we can't able to give a pulse directly because it is working in terms of megahertz so if you are going to give that pulse in terms of megahertz your stepper motor cannot able to catch that megahertz uh, change in terms of its poles so it will not rotate so we have to create some delay so that it can able to capture that speed and after that it can able to move along with your pole changes right so whether it is going to be poles it is going to be north pole and south pole it is going to take some time for its energization right in terms of your uh, stepper motor so we have to give some delay so that delay is not specified whether you are going to use timer or we are just going to use loops concepts to create a delay right so this is how which is given to me so since timer is not given i am not going to use my timer here i will just try to create and delay using loops so this is my program so you can able to try on your own way how you are going to plan so here uh, your program is going to be starting from 000h so after that one p not is going to get the value of 00h what it means it means your port 0 is going to be configured as output port if it should be input port you have to configure it with value of eff right so i am going to give the output to the stepper motor which means it has to be configured as an output port right so after that one i am getting the value of 88 i am giving the value of 88 what is 88 1000 1000 4 bits or 8 bits right this is going to be looking like this so correspondingly this north pole and this south pole is getting activated in terms of your uh, configuration in respect to stepper motor so if you want to rotate in right hand side direction which means clock di clockwise direction so the bit has to be rotated in clockwise direction right side right so if it is rotated right side it is going to be rotating in clockwise direction so that corresponding poles will be activated if that pulse is getting activated corresponding angle which is going to be created by the stepper motor is going to be created so if you are going to move this one in right hand side direction it is going to have your clockwise rotation if you are going to move in backward direction which means jumping left it is going to create in your uh, left hand side direction which means it is going to create an anti clockwise pulse sorry it is left it is anti clockwise so this is how it is being working so uh, after that uh, you are going to call your delay so this delay has to be called because it has to understand uh, right your uh, stepper motor has to understand it has to take some time time to energize and all other things right so this port a whatever i am going to give 88 i have to move that value to port 0 right so from accumulator it is going to send this values to your uh, port 0 so that 88 is going to get inside your port a right after that point i am going to call my delay so delay how i am configuring my delay here so i am making use of uh, two different uh, registers here which is going to be r3 and r4 so if i am going to give the value of 255 so if i am going to use hexadecimal i have to use h now i am using decimal here so i can able to directly give this value So R four also I will load with two fifty five values, so which is going to be zero to two fifty five, right? So in this case, so uh, this D is at zero. What it will do? It will try to decrement your R four, right? R four when it is reaching here, it is going to become as two fifty four, and after that it is going to be jump again, again inside this loop itself, till your R four is becoming zero, right? So if it is becoming zero, it is going to come out of this loop. if your r4 is not equal to 0 till that time it is going to iterate the loop again and again right so we are going to waste our time here so our processor time here so that it is going to waste its time and it is going to keep on seeing your r4 register whether it is being becoming zero or not right and after that one when it is coming out of this loop so i can able to make my delay in terms of r3 also again i am having 255 here right so this 255 again it is going to uh, make its operation so thus it is going to make its jump so here what i am trying to do i am trying to move from uh, here to which means after it's identifying it is not equal to 0 it is going to jump here so i am creating an huge time delay 
while accessing these kinds of uh, ports, like uh, accessing these kinds of registers, right? So after completing this one, so I can able to make use of my return statement. So this return statement is going to after this a call, a call is going to be your ISR. It's like an interrupt service routine. It is jump to this delay, and after it is getting completed, it is going to jump to the next uh, instruction of your uh, program. So it is going to keep the value as 88, which means 1000, for particular duration of time. And after that one, it is going to rotate right, right? So if I am going to rotate right, so 100 is going to becoming like 100, and after that 0, 1, 0, 0, and the last value is going to jump to your carry flag. So next time, this carry flag is going to, so previously I am going on carry flag, so carry flag is 0, right? This 0 is going to jump here. So this last bit will be moved to this carry again. So if I am going to rotate like this, what is the value which I am going to expect here? So 8, 4, 2, 1 combination, it is going to be 4 and 4, right? So after that one, so this is for our understanding, I have uh, commented this section. Because if you want to rotate in left side direction, I have to activate this. If I am going to use it in terms of right side direction, I have to activate this. So both the things we will try to do now, so that it is going to rotate left and right. So yes, jump, again it is going to be jumping back to this loop, right? So A call is going to be an interrupt service routine. I am pushing the value of 88, so that every time, so after that, whenever it is going to come here, your accumulator value is going to be 2, 2. And next to your accumulator value is going to be 1, 1. So 8, 8 to 2, 2 to 1, 1. So it is going to be jumping like this again and again. From this 1, 1, it is going to be jumping again back to 8, 8. So like this, it is going to be jumping again and again. Right? So for these kinds of things, so we are trying to shift with the help of these kinds of transitions for your stator of your stepper motor. Right? So this is just to create a delay. So I think uh, the program which we have written is clear for you. So we will just try to move to the program in exact way uh, it is written in Kale. So I can able to move there to Kale. So this is a program. So same thing. So I have used P0200H which means port 0 is activated as output port 88. And I am calling delay. I am using all the programs as such. So after this point, we will try to so this is left side, right? So I have to comment this line. So it should not rotate left also, right? So in this case, uh, and delay is being called, and after that it is going to rotate on right side direction. So your motor should run in clockwise direction. So after this, your portion is going to be getting split into two, real time part, and as well as your programming part in Kale. So we can able to take that point now. So I hope uh, now the part of your stepper motor is also visible to you. So in this case, so I have written the same program. So I have to build, translate, build, and rebuild. So I don't have any errors here. And after that one, I have to move to this uh, target. So device, I have to verify whether the device is selected exactly same. Yes. So target is being created. So the target has to have the frequency of 11.0592 megahertz. That is fine. Output, it has to be enabled in terms of hex file. That is also correct. And after that, in debug mode, it should not be in simulator. It should be in your KL 8051. So exact COM port has to be activated. So in last video itself, we have seen how to activate our COM port, how to uh, understand in which COM port it is getting connected, right? And your baud rate should be 9600 for your serial communication from your PC to your 8051. So we have completed till now. So we can able to uh, start our programming. Just click on your debug button. So when your debug button is pressed, so it is going to uh, try to take some time. So you just make sure that this button, which I, which we are going to have here, this should be in your execution mode, right? This should be in your execution mode. And after that, uh, in terms of your connection, this is going to be the connection which is established from your 8051 to your driver. So this is USB, which is getting connected to your PC. And uh, this is your power cable for your kit. And this is your power cable for your driver. And this is your power cable for your stepper motor. 
and this is your pole uh, exact pulse which is going to be given to your stepper motor which is getting connected in this fashion right so these are going to be your transistors which is getting attached to your poles right so all these things we have seen already so we can able to just have an uh, directly go to that programming so this should be rotating in clockwise direction right so i will just run this program so now you can able to see so this is rotating in clockwise direction it is going to take it pulse one by one so it is going to take the delay right so that delay it we don't know what exactly the delay we have given it is just running in random right so it is going to take some delay so that it is going to take step by step movements right so it is rotating in your clockwise direction so this is how we are going to do this program so if a question is given just to do it in an inverse way just to do it in terms of your anti clockwise direction so i can stop this program by pressing reset here right don't disable your debug in your program so press it here so when i am going to press it this is going to be stopping its operation so that yeah the operation has been stopped now we can able to come out of debug mode so in this just change this only one code so rotate left with carry so if i am going to take this one just save this one and after that run this one translate build rebuild and after that click on your debug button so click okay so your program is ready and you have to press on your uh, run button so i am going to press it so that i can able to check whether it is rotating in your anti clockwise direction yes so now i can able to see it is rotating in your anti clockwise direction you can able to see this string right so we can able to see it is rotating in your anti clockwise direction so like this i can able to make movements in terms of my clockwise direction as well as my anti clockwise directions in whichever direction i want so i can able to make use of this stepper motor so if you want to increase the delay so you can able to use one more register here and you can able to further increase the delay if you want and if you want to decrease the delay decrease this value from 255 you can able to get some value of 100 100 and you can able to decrease it and check with zero so this is how we are going to increase the speed and decrease the speed right so sometimes when the delay is going to be very less your stepper motor is going to be continuously rotating that is also you can able to give a try and you can able to see so you have to make sure you are understanding these two things d Uh, J N is that which means like it is going to decrement your R four register along with that it is going to verify whether it is becoming zero. So is just S jump it is going to be uh, looping it in terms of this loop. Whenever this delay is called, this is getting activated so that it is going to be doing this operation in a sequential way. Right. So that's it in this video. So this is how we can able to run your stepper motor in clockwise as well as in anti-clockwise direction. So in next video we will try to understand how to create a delay in particular duration if i ask you to create a delay in one second i can able to make that also right so we can able to see that in your next program so thank you for your patient listening